Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. If you like fragrance reviews, new releases, updates, and free fragrance giveaway packages, please show your support by clicking that red subscribe button. And make sure you click the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new fragrance videos or giveaway videos. You'll be first in line and you might win. Tag by Dr. Fragrance. I'm going to leave his YouTube channel down below in the description. Definitely click on his channel, check out the video, hit the like button, and subscribe to show him some love if you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to give you my 12 designer fragrances for life slash slash one per month. So pretty much you got to wear one of these fragrances each month and that's it. Which is crazy because I have so many fragrances in the back here and I have to pick 12 designers so it's kind of tough. I do have designers and niche fragrances but I feel like I have more niche fragrances but let's get the list started. No honorable mentions. The first one is a fragrance that I got a couple months ago. I like it a lot. This is for my January uh, scent of the month and this one here is no other than Bentley for Men. This is just the original one. It opens up with uh, citrus bergamot, has some rum in the mid and some cinnamon. This one here is a, is a great um, cold weather fragrance and you could wear it in the spring and summer but I would be lighter on trigger like maybe one spray or maybe two no more than that because it might get coined to people with the rum and the cinnamon um because they're more of notes you would wear in the fall and winter time but this one's nice it's not a heavy beast mode fragrance but it does announce itself when you go into a room where people walk by you're gonna they're gonna catch whiffs of the fragrances whether you walk in front of them or they walk behind you or your sillage they're definitely gonna get whiffs of this fragrance this one's nice because I like the little presentation my girlfriend says it's tacky but I like it and it just smells so good with the bergamot um, and it has the, the rum and the rum is so nice and boozy and smooth and, and then that cinnamon connected it gives it a sweetness and I like this one for January because it's still kind of cold and mistful and sometimes rainy in January it's kind of cold still it's not time to bring out the summer fragrances not yet later in the years you know or months yes but not in January but definitely check out Bentley for men um, I'll leave the website down below, FragranceNet, FragranceBuy.ca, MaxAroma.com, FragranceX, all of them got this for about 25 30 bucks. this or the Intense, so definitely check out Bentley for Men. Now we're jumping into the month of February, so February is more of a, it's getting still cold, but it's getting a little bit warmed up, it's not as cold and chilly as January weather is here in New Jersey slash Philadelphia area, so I, I pick up another fragrance that kind of have me a little bit uplifting in life. A fragrance I know if my dad was still alive, he would wear this fragrance. He would probably rock it every day as a signature scent. I enjoy it myself, but since I have so many fragrances, I can't rock it as a signature scent. I enjoy this one a lot. Um, it brings me back to memories when me and my dad used to get haircuts. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a video link down below. And this fragrance for February is Tom Ford Beau de Jour. So Tom Ford Beau de Jour is a fragrance that has notes of uh, it has mint. It has lavender. And this bottle, hold on, before I talk about more notes, look at this bottle presentation. This bottle is so cool with the gray, uh, kind of old fashioned top. And the top has Tom Ford and the, the silver plate, the Tom Ford Beau de Jour, the green juice, like a throwback vintage bottle. I know some subscribers that tell me. But it has notes of lavender, patchouli, uh, mint, rosemary, geranium, oak moss, basil, and amber. But this one here, and it has mint too. And mint in here is really nice. It's not a toothpaste mint. It's not a coin mint where it, it takes over the whole fragrance and you don't enjoy it. You're going to pick up a lot of a lavender uh, barbershop fougere vibe. So if you like fragrances that have a barbershop type of vibe to it, like you just got your hair freshly cut or a fresh cut shave or a fresh shape up or whatever, um, this is what this type of fragrance will smell like. And everybody been around with likes this fragrance. My girlfriend isn't the biggest, biggest fan of it. She likes it, and she understands why I like because it, it brings me back to my dad when he was living. Um, and you know, it's just I miss him a lot. And this fragrance here uh, makes me remember him. And he, if he was still alive, he would wear this fragrance. I probably would buy him a like a hundred mil bottle. He would just wear this because we used to always get haircuts together. And just going going to get haircuts and spend that time with my dad was so awesome because he was getting haircuts, watching Monday Night Football. Uh, Sunday night football, we just did those kind of things together, um, and he always was there and always supportive of me. So I appreciate that a lot for my dad, and I will be rocking uh, Tom Ford Beau de Jour um, in February. March is coming up, and it's that type of time of year where 
it's going to get more nicer outside more fresher outside it's not going to be um 100 hot but you know if you, if you live in philadelphia or pa hopefully we see the groundhog come out the ground and it tells you that spring is coming very soon which is kind of weird but anyway if you see the movie groundhog day go see that that's a funny movie um nevertheless the fragrance I'll be rocking in March when the weather gets nicer and you can probably wear t-shirts instead of wearing heavy long sleeve sweaters and hoodies is <laughs> no other than a Zara Wild Mint. So Zara Wild Mint is a fragrance where it has notes of mint, calypso, has balsam fir, and patchouli, and it has Asian vetiver. So this fragrance here is a fragrance that if you like mint as a note in a fragrance, and you know you don't want something that's heavy toothpaste or sticky or something that could be coying and annoying this is a nice mint fragrance or if you get into designer fragrances or fragrances for the first time in general and you're on a budget and some people are like people think that you know i'm rich i'm not rich at all i'm very thankful that i'm be able to work overtime to buy different fragrances to add to my collection you know what i mean and i enjoy this as a hobby and i wear these fragrances and you know i'm happy i get compliments with them and i'm happy to review these fragrances but this fragrance here if you're getting into mint you're gonna like this fragrance it's under 40 bucks you can probably get it between 25 30 bucks highest thing is maybe 50 um and that's at discounters and it's a 100 ml bottle it's a beautiful presentation with the black the white lettering and then it has wild mint then it has the dark to a light green and clear on the bottom so this is awesome you need to definitely get your nose on and try it out I mean for 30 bucks you can try it and if you don't like the heavy mint note that's in it or if you feel like it's not your type of fragrance and with the mix with the patchouli in it because some people say it gives a little bit of a crypto mint vibe and I feel like it is but I feel like crypto mint is a lot more heavy inducive fragrance where it's like it could get coin wearing that if you don't like you, you you can imagine yourself a toothpaste heavy fragrance would be more of a crypto mint this one is more nicer more light more calm and more smooth and you can wear this all year round if you want you don't have to worry about it. you can wear it in feb wear it in march but i'm saying you can wear it all year round it's your scent if you're looking for something different to wear and in the price range of 30 to 50 bucks it won't break the bank so if you're looking to buy a designer fragrance that has Decent performance and decent longevity, which I get five to six hours and projections about an hour to uh, hour and a half. Definitely check out um, the Zara Wild Mint. The month of April is right around the corner. Now, this is a fragrance that I'm definitely going to wear because it's my birthday month. You guys don't know my birthday is April 30th. So, and I'm going to rock a fragrance. Since it's the whole month, I'm going to rock this fragrance hard. Some people like it. Some people don't like it. Some people say it's coin. They might think it's kind of weird. The bottle presentation is awesome. And it's another mint fragrance from the house of an, another company, um, Mugler. And this is Amen Crypto Mint. So, this fragrance here, this bottle, for this bottle presentation, is beautiful. I like it. it. Has notes of patchouli, uh, geranium, and peppermint. So this fragrance here, I don't really like the sprayer. It's kind of annoying trying to push it, but yeah, this one here is just—it's awesome. It opens up with a blast of mint. It's a cooling sensation mint. If you want to say peppermint patty, whatever you want to call it, or a Girl Scout cookie uh, fragrance, this is really nice. And I wear this whenever I want. I mean. I have never had one negative comment wearing this fragrance shirt. Mainly people are like, wow, you smell really sweet. You smell minty, very chocolatey. I, I like that fragrance off of you. And I'm like, oh, cool. It's awesome. I'm not saying everybody in the world is going to be like, have to buy this. This isn't going to be a panty dropper fragrance. This isn't a fragrance that's going to be mass appealing. But women do like sweet fragrances. I'm not saying everyone likes sweet fragrances off of men or myself, but it works for me and I like it. And this is a blind bought for me because at the time I couldn't get samples. Cause they were kind of expensive for sample. I'm like, I'll buy the bottle if I don't like it. I'll keep it because the beautiful presentation it has mint. But the mint in here can be a little bit coin with the um, like a toothpaste type of mint where it's like you smell like you are brushing your teeth or you um, walked, um, you just opened up like a mouthwash that has like maybe a heavy dose of mint that's in the that's in the mouthwash. You open up, you're like, Phew, you smell that the minty and like what's well, too much. But it's, I do enjoy it. Is it heavy for a little bit? Yeah, but then it does calm down and it seems to smooth out more. And it's not as heavy in your face after the projection kind of slows down some. And then you get more of a uh, patchouli, kind of a sweet vibe. And 
it's a fragrance where you definitely want to pick up a chocolatey type of sweet vibe with this fragrance here between the mint in it and the geranium and the patchouli so you're definitely going to pick up a freshness and you're going to pick up a sweetness so if you're looking for something different that you want to smell different than like your Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage, you want to smell sweeter. Um, I'm going to rock this in April for my birthday and I'm happy to have it for about, I think it's about 50 to 60 bucks on this counter. So definitely do your research. Definitely check out Amen Crypto Mint. Month of May is here and the flowers are blooming. It's really nice outside. The weather, the weather and the temperature has rise somewhat and it's not as cold outside and you don't need to wear a hoodie as much. Maybe on some cool nights, but it's going to be more nicer outside with t-shirts, maybe shorts or short jeans, whatever. You want to be more outdoors and you want a fragrance that's going to uh, be kind to people. You know, want to be around people, feel comfortable. And this fragrance here is from the House of Azaro, another Azaro fragrance. This is Azaro Porn Ginger Lover. So Ginger Lover has notes of lime, has notes of cardamom, has notes of ginger, cedar, hazy and vetiver, and cumin. So this one here, what can I not say is not good about this fragrance? The price you're looking at about, oh man, you're looking at about 30 bucks, 25 to 30 to 50 bucks on discounters. And I get great performance with this one. I leave my video down below or just type in Azaro Ginger Lover. Me and a bunch of other viewers have reviewed this fragrance. I get between two hours of projection. It's not heavy, but it's nice. People get whiffs of it. And then I get about seven to eight hours on my skin. And this fragrance is a great signature scent if you want to make it all year round. Because the citruses and the lemon combine really nicely. And that ginger can up it. So it gives you a little bit of that sweetness in it. But it's not overly sweet. It's not coin sweet where it's like... You spray this on and people are like, dang, it's too much sweetness. It's nice, it's subtle, it's it's well balanced, and there's nothing not to like about Ginger Lover. Unless you don't like the note of ginger, it might be off-putting to you as a person, but this is a great fragrance for about under 50 bucks. I mean, literally, I got mine for 25 bucks, and I might just buy a backup bottle just to have it because you never know if they discount discounted the... Um, they discontinue these fragrances or they don't sell anymore or they sell out on discounters so and the bottles are all beautiful this one here the wild mint one I have there's hot pepper which I need to try there's naughty leather so on and so forth definitely check this one out here if you're looking for a fresh citrus um, slash uh, ginger fragrance and on another note a little fun fact here if you like least in the wrong old team and you know that's getting discontinued if it hasn't already I know it's in the process of this year, but I've seen it on their website still this is a alternative to it minus the rose but definitely check this one out here if you like that we're definitely gonna like this one here now performances might very different for both fragrances so please keep that in mind but yeah you know I'm gonna rock this in May and people around me already like it anyway so Azaro Ginger Lover month of June um, pretty much, you know, it's my brother Matthew's birthday. Shout out to you, Matthew's birthday is June 21st. And this is a fragrance where it's that time of year where it's nice and fresh. It's getting more hot outside because this is the month where kids, when they're in school, they're about to be let go of school for the summer vacation or school's out for the summer, whatever you want to call it. And this one is very uplifting. It has a freshness in it. It has no rolly in it. Um, this one here is from the house of Bulgari, and if you want samples of this fragrance, I will definitely leave the website down below, EliteFragranceSamples.com. Put in the promotion code uh, Elite10 and get 10% off. So, nevertheless, the fragrance is Bulgari Man Wood Neroli. This one here is awesome. Man, every, I like the bottle because it twists the atomizer so you can hold it and it locks into place. You can turn it and pretty much you can spray it like this. And... Oh man, this is just so good. I mean, there's not a wrong time when to wear this fragrance. Let's spray it on right now. Oh, it's not a wrong time to wear this one. Now, there are some problems with the lack of performance, which I'm going to have a full review video coming very soon on my channel. I don't want to ruin it in this video here, but from my experience of wearing the fragrances, it's below average, you know, for me on my skin. I'm getting about four to five hours. Most I got was five hours on my skin. And yeah, I'm getting the full review in the video down the road. But this one here, I like it for the for the spring and summer. But in the summertime, it's really good because it's not a heavy fragrance. It's a moderate fragrance where 
you know, people are going to whiff up and they're going to like the fragrance. If you like the note of Neroli, you're definitely going to like this one here. And some of the notes is bergamot, Neroli, orange blossom, uh, cedar. We have white musk, amber, grease, and amber. But yeah, you do get that freshness with the citrus, but mainly get more of that dominant of the musk and that Neroli. And it's just, it's really good. And something that you can wear, it's nice. It's not heavy, but it's moderate. It's not like overpowering. You can wear it in the summertime. If you want to do a couple more sprays besides three or four, you can because it's not going to offend anybody. It reminds me of laying at the beach if and, and you're sitting out there or if you're on a boat you're on a boat relaxing got some shorts on um you know got a nice fitted hat on back you got your sunglasses on just a couple sprays of this you're just enjoying life relaxing maybe you have a beer in your hand maybe a course light bud light or you have a glass of lemonade whatever sitting back just chilling and this is what kind of fragrance it feels like to me you can get this for like 50 bucks for 100 mil on um discounters um, and I think it's fragrancenet.com. I'll leave a link down below if I know it, if that's the price it is. But yeah, it's like 50 bucks for a tester and it's a white box and you get the same thing. It might say tester in it back, but it's the same juice. It's a tester bottle, whatever. Um, and this one has a twisted cap, so you have to worry about the cap is already going to be included with it. But this fragrance is nice if you're looking for something bright, fresh, neroli. You're going to get some must in it and I would say more of a gentleman fragrance. I mean, can a female wear it? Yeah. And she can. I feel like it means more masculine to me, but nevertheless, definitely check out Bulgari Man Neroli right here, or Wood Neroli by the House of Bulgari. Now it's getting hot outside. I'm telling you, it's really hot where you don't really want to be outside, and sometimes maybe you don't want to wear a fragrance, but nevertheless, you do want to smell nice, fresh, and clean. And this fragrance here is fresh, it's clean. It is a second flanker of a franker, and it's from a house that I truly love, my number one designer fragrance house, and it is no other than people are going to love this fragrance or hate it, Sasha's Fest, whatever, Dior Sauvage, EDP, or Eau de Parfum. This one here, I have a 100ml bottle, because this one's awesome. This one opens up, love the magnetic cap. Dior makes amazing magnetic caps, and the sprayers are amazing too. Let's check out the sprayer. Oh, man. So this one here, whoo! Smells so good. This one here has notes of bergamot, has notes of Sicilian Sichuan pepper, has notes of nutmeg, star anise, lavender. We have vanilla and we have embroxin. So we know this is an embroxin bomb. Let's just face it. But this one is more smoother, more toned down. It's not as heavy in your face as the EDT because the EDT one is my favorite uh, forever and ever in Dior. But this one here is nice too. It's still it's still nice and loud. It's not as heavy as the first as the EDT, but it's nice. It's mellow, and people tend to like this one off my skin too. I know they say that the original one they like too, but sometimes that might be a little bit heavy with the beast mode. This one's more nicer, more subtle, more calm, more approachable to people. It's not as heavy in your face. Um, please be careful with the sprays. Don't do too many sprays, um, just because you're gonna be around a lot of people that that pepper note might be too much for some people, and you never know. But this one here is awesome. I'm gonna rock this. Um, in July, maybe one or two sprays, and it works. It lasts on my skin. Like I said, between this one and the original, I get like eight hours plus. I have no problem with your fragrances. Now, if this ever gets reformulated, then maybe it won't last as long. And I know the EET people said it got reformulated. I I'll buy a bottle and find out for you guys maybe, but I don't. My bottle is fifty percent, so I'm not in a rush to buy it. But I will buy a bottle, maybe do a side by side comparison of EET versus the new EDT. But it is what it is. But this one here. You definitely check it out if you're looking for a fresh citrus, if you want to call it shower gel vibe fragrance for the summertime, Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum or EDP. August is here and it's booming hot. You're just you're waiting for the winter to come, hopefully in another month or so, wherever you live at around the world, United States, ladies and gentlemen. But this fragrance here is a fragrance that I enjoy wearing. I could wear it all summer if I wanted to, but I gotta wear other fragrances. I don't want to neglect all my baby fragrances. <laughs> Nevertheless, this one here is from the House of Paco Rabanne. It's no other than Invictus Aqua 2018. So this beautiful presentation, I bought a 50ml bottle. I should have bought like a 100ml bottle because it's fresh, it's clean. I'll give you some of the notes. And I like the little beautiful trophy. It comes like this with the light blue juice. For, this is like a blue juice for the summertime. I feel like more of a, a C type of vibe with the blue juice. This one here has notes of violet leaf, grapefruit, has notes of C notes, we have violet, we have uh, woody notes, and we have amber grease and amber wood. So yes, you definitely pick up that when the opening is a fresh, 
I feel like it's more of uh, the grapefruit. You're going to get some citruses. It's going to give you that fresh kind of vibe. But you're going to get a sea salty type of a vibe. Like it's going to remind you of going to the beach or hanging out at the beach. It gives you that beachy vibe. But it's not like a suntan lotion vibe. No. This is more being um, near the ocean. Just having a good time. It's very pleasant. Nobody not just not gonna like this fragrance. Does it give a little bit of a bubblegum vibe like all the Paco Bonds? Yeah, it does. But I feel like that C note overwhelms everything where it's like in your face and you're definitely gonna pick up a summer type of vibe fragrance off of your skin. This one here I like. I've worn it since I've had it. I'm halfway done. This is a great dumb reach for the summertime. You spray it and go. It's not a loud fragrance where it's not going to offend people. You're going to get that first hour and a half of projection is where you're going to get noticed the most. So that first hour and a half when you get to the beach, whether you apply it before you go to the beach or you should apply it 10-15 minutes before you get to the beach, whatever case you're going to do ladies and gentlemen, that first hour and a half you will get noticed the most. Then it's going to come closer to the skin and you're going to get less and less more of the fragrance. You're definitely still going to get that sea salty vibe, but you're going to get some of that amber wood and some of that amber grease in, in the forefront of the fragrance towards the dry down in the mid. You're going to get some of that violet leaf, but it's there, but I feel like the main note is going to be the sea notes and the amber grease and the amber wood, which takes over this fragrance. And most people around me like this fragrance. I haven't met one person that didn't like it. And most people that did like it, they would buy a bottle because they said it was affordable. You can get this discounted for like maybe 40 bucks, maybe 50 bucks online for a 50 mil. You can get a bigger bottle, probably 60, 70, but definitely check this one out here. And longevity is about four to five hours on my skin. So it's a fragrance you can spray it on and go to the beach or hang out at the shore for about four or five hours and you can go home. You don't need a heavy beast mode fragrance. You're gonna be out in the sun. You know, you, you just don't wanna stink. That's why you apply, that's why you take a shower and apply a fragrance before you go to the beach. So definitely check this out. Invictus Aqua 2018. Now that summer's out the way and now it's getting to more of a colder time of year. Now it's still a couple nice humid hot days in September, but it's gonna calm down some. You're definitely gonna start bringing out the long sleeves, the hoodies, um, the scarves, because it's going to get cold in September. Not crazy cold, but it's going to get where you have to put away the summer clothes and get away, get, a, get away from some of the fresh and clean fragrances and move into more of a um, fall and winter based fragrances. So, for the month of September, I'm going to be rocking or suggest you should try out, ladies and gentlemen, is a fragrance from the house of Davidoff, and this is no other than Davidoff Cool Water Intense. So this one here has notes of green mandarin, coconut water, and we have amber. Now, I feel like there's some taco bean in there too because of the sweetness. And this one is nice. I tell you, I like the distribution. It sprays out a lot. And it opens up with a that green mandarin, a freshness in the opening, freshness citrus opening. But that goes away really quickly. Like it doesn't really last but a couple of seconds. And it turns right into a sweet... Um, amber fragrance you definitely gonna pick up some coconut but I don't get a lot of coconut on me it's funny when my girlfriend uh, smells off of my skin when I spray it she picks up the coconut and I'm like okay I don't really pick it up but when I spray it like in my room and I leave the room and come back to the room I can pick up that coconut like with the CIs and everything in the air but I can't particularly pick up a lot of coconut off of my skin but when I walk near my girlfriend and talk to her she can pick up the coconut so it is what it is. I wish I could pick up the coconut because that would be awesome because I like fragrances like uh, Creed VIW or Creed Virgin Island Water. And if it was like that, boy, I would tell people to get this over that. But nevertheless, this one here is awesome. This one here has good performance. Like, let me let me tell you from, from my experience. Now, everybody's experience may be different. I get beast mode projection for a good two to three hours. It is very strong. Don't do no more than three sprays. Now, some people say they get lighter performance. That's fine. Maybe you want to go heavy on the trigger. I do about three sprays and that's enough. If you do five sprays and it's beast mode, you you will regret it within an hour to two hours of wearing this fragrance. It's very heavy, very coin, and that 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 amber is like right in the forefront. It's a sweet fragrance. This is more of a fragrance where um, it's great for the colder months. Can you wear this in the spring and summer? Yeah, you can, but I'll go lighter on the trigger. Maybe one spray, maybe two, at the least. And 
the, the performance for me, longevity of getting eight hours plus. I have no problems with getting through eight hours. I might get longer, but look, eight hour mark, I'm done wearing. I wanna take a shower and put another fragrance on. So this one here, definitely check out Davidoff Cool Water Intense. It's not like the original uh, Cool Water because that was more fresh, more green, more more clean. But this one here isn't as much. The opening is then it turns into a sweet bomb kind of a fragrance. So if you're looking for something like that and you're on a budget, this is about maybe 40 bucks online, 50 bucks. But every time I try to go on a website, it's sold out. So excuse me, definitely do your research and when they have it, pick up a bottle. And if you don't like it, give it to somebody else. But definitely check out Davidoff Cool Water Intense Auto Parfum. Now it's getting colder outside and the temperature is getting below where it's too cold to want to wear like a fresh and clean fragrance because a lot of them die down, they don't really last. But you can wear them if you want, no worries. This type of year is October and if you're in a Halloween or that type of weather where the leaves are falling, you know it's getting colder outside, football time. Um, my girlfriend loves October for Halloween. I'm not the biggest Halloween fan, but she loves Halloween. Nevertheless, this fragrance here has that color of a Halloween, which would be like an orange type of vibe, but it's not an orange citrus fragrance. It's more of a tonka bean, uh, vanilla, caramel, cocoa fragrance. It's no other than from the House of Christian Dior, and this is from their private line, um, Dior Feb Delicios. So this one here, oh man. I have to tell you something. I don't want to spray this is expensive. This is like a $220 bottle. I mean, let's just face it. This here, you're not gonna go through a full bottle unless you wear it as a signature set, which is might be too much for the spring and summer, but fall and winter, this is a staple signature scent. Now my version is not the old version that came out. I think it was 2000. Um, let me get my notes here. 2000 and I think 15. Yeah, 2015. This one here I think is a 20. I guess the 2018, 2019 uh, batch I have. Nevertheless, look, I get great performance with this one. This one works all day. I get projection, I'm getting about two, to maybe three hours of projection. It's very nice, very loud, in your face, and then it comes close to the skin after that, but it's still there. You get whiffs of it through another eight to 10 hours on my skin. Like, I can get through a whole day. I can spray two, three sprays and go through the whole day and still smell this fragrance off of my skin. Or I could do one or two sprays here and two sprays on my wrist, and throughout the day, I still catch wafts of this fragrance. And it works. I mean, some people may like, not like because of the tonka bean, the cocoa, um, the caramel kind of gives it that overall sweetness. It might be coined to some people. Some people might think it leans feminine. I mean, it is what it is. I rock it. I really don't even care. I mean, if you're going to say that, then a lot of your fragrances can leave feminine too. I mean, all the on your situation. This one here is awesome. And it's, I have never smelled nothing like this in my life. And when I went in New York to try this out for the first time, me and my girlfriend fell in love with the first spray. The first spray on paper, we fell in love. Then we sprayed it on our skin and we head over heels for it. We both wear this fragrance, put a little dent in it, but we both love wearing this fragrance here. And for me and her to like the same fragrance, it was a plus because I could buy the bottle. So, you know, it's my excuse to buy another fragrance bottle. <laughs> but nevertheless, check this one out here by the House of Christian Dior. My number one fragrance, Designer brand, yeah, I know, whatever, uh, Dior Feb Delicios. Now we're in the month of November and it's really cold outside. Probably where you live at, it might start snowing. I know here it snows a lot in November and December, maybe one or two inches, but it's colder outside. You need your boots, you know, to get through that snow. And it's just, it's the weather that you people really don't like the winter weather. Unless you have a great winter fragrance to back it up, that's always a plus because you always want to smell good. Um, this fragrance, it's from my number one fragrance brand. I've talked about it before, you guys know it. No, it's not Dior Sauvage. It's no other than from the house of Christian Dior. This is Dior Own Intense. 2020 version. Um, yeah, this one's awesome. I had to buy it online. Um, somebody was selling bottles and I picked it up and my friend Stephen from Red Lessons picked up a bottle himself because I told him they had it there. He paid about a hundred and something for it pieces or hundred mil bottles. And this is awesome. I mean, presentation itself is nice with the black here, but you know, the juice is not as dark as the original, but it does smell pretty much the same. And sprayer. Oh, you can definitely pick up that iris and it. it does have a freshness in it. Let's go over some of the notes. We have notes of lavender, we have notes of iris, we have notes of embret seed, we have Virginia cedar wood, and we have vetiver and vanilla. So you're definitely gonna pick up a freshness in it but 
you're definitely gonna pick up a lot of that iris and a lot of the bread seeds in it and you're gonna pick up that vanilla it's just a gorgeous um, very I guess some people call it a lipsticky type of vibe but it's a very awesome iris based fragrance it's amazing if you like fragrances like Prada Lome you're definitely gonna like this if you like the original Dior Homme you're gonna like this one here um, everybody's performance will be different like me I get a solid heavy two hours of projection and I get well over eight hours on my skin with this one Dior Homme Intense 2020 so I enjoy it a lot you should definitely check this one out if you can get a hold of it I know you can get samples um, at certain uh, websites have samples I'll leave the websites down below if I can find them if they're still available but yeah pick up samples or buy yourself a bottle if you like Dior Homme or you like Prior Homme you're definitely going to like this Dior Homme 2020 for the month of December so December is really freezing cold where I live at neck of the woods on the east coast it might be cold where you live at on your side of the fence but nevertheless this fragrance can compete with the November fragrance from the house of Dior Home Intense this one here is from another fragrance that has iris but it's not proud alone so it is what it is this one here is from the house of Valentino you sure already know what it is by now Valentino Umo Intense this one here is an awesome fragrance Let's talk about some of the notes in it. We have Mandarin, we have Clary Sage, we have Iris, Tonka Bean, Black Leather, and Vanilla Bean. This one here is awesome too. I mean, you can get either one. You can literally get this one or this one. It doesn't really matter and you'll be set to go. I know this one I think has got discontinued, I heard. You can probably still find it on discounters. I'll leave links down below if they have it available. But yeah, this is awesome and um, I wear this a lot um, in the cooler months and I wore this a few times when we had Christmas, and I helped my girlfriend with Christmas dinner, and she likes this one. She's like, oh, you don't wear it too much, but I do like it when you wear it. I like the cool little kind of like design on it. Looks like little like bullet kind of like things on it or whatever. It's pretty cool looking, a little different. But I like the whole blackness with the plate. It's the Valentino. And this is awesome. This is another heavy iris fragrance. Iris Tonka being a sweet fragrance. And it, this is this is awesome to definitely check out if you can get yourself a bottle and this is this is this this works I get well over eight hours I have no complaints getting eight hours projection about two hours maybe three it's it's there like it's not a fragrance that goes away it's the projection might calm down but you still get whiffs of like when you move it around doing things whether you spray on your wrist or on your neck you still get whiffs of the fragrance it just stays on and on and on for hours now maybe by the eight hour mark it might settle down like you know significantly but it's good for about eight hours on my skin and for cold weather it pushes through the cold weather my own personal opinion but definitely check this one out here Valentino Umo Intense if you like notes of vanilla if you like notes of Tonka bean if you like notes of Irish you don't like this can this with a feminine yeah I mean if you if you feel like a lipstick type of vibe with this fragrance with some people had told me, hey, it smells like lipstick. I'm like, it does. So you may not like, you might feel it might be fem uh, lean feminine. It is what it is. I enjoy rocking it, and people around me just like it. I've never once got a negative comment wearing this fragrance here. Most people just enjoy it or like it off my skin or say never smelled it before, like my girlfriend said initially when I wore this during the holidays. So definitely check out uh, Valentino Umo Intense. Ladies and gentlemen, those are my 12 designer fragrances one per month uh, what are yours leave your list down below so before this video ends I would like to say thank you guys for watching um, if you like this type of content and you're not subscribed to my channel I would hope and you really appreciate that you click that subscribe button and click the bell icon to notify when I upload new videos or giveaway videos